Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Richard Report and Nicholas Hushambeth. This game was played in Switzerland in 2010. Richard Report was only 14 years old, so please don't be too harsh with your critics of his moves. Richard Report had white pieces and he started d4. Hushambeth played d5, knight to f3, knight to f6, c4, queen's gambit, d takes on c4, queen's gambit accepted, knight to c3, a6, intending b5, e4, and black played b5, protecting his investment, e5, knight to d5, a4, bishop to b7, white to move, what would you do in this position? If you had white pieces. Hmm? If a takes on b5, then knight takes on c3, and after pawn takes knight, a takes on b5, and black is okay. What else? If bishop to e2, black plays e6, and black is okay again. Richard Laporte played e6 sacrificing the pawn to prevent black from playing e6. Pawn takes pawn on e6. Bishop to e2. Knight takes knight on c3. Pawn takes knight. Queen to d5. So if knight goes to g5, queen takes the pawn on g2. What would you do? Perhaps castling comes to mind. Do you agree? But then... White can't play knight to g5. Richard Rapport played knight to g5, allowing queen takes pawn on g2, attacking the rook. Rook to f1. Black is three pawns up. Would you ever play like this as white? Knight to d7. Another move that black could have played was bishop to d5 then probably white will play something like bishop to f4. We have knight to d7, knight takes pawn on e6, attacking the pawn on c7, but black was not worried because he wanted to play rook to c8 and c5 next. a takes on b5, and c5 must wait. a takes on b5, rook to a7, invasion on the 7th rank. Queen to c6, Perhaps knight to f6 would be a better move. We have queen to c6, attacking the knight on e6. The idea was, if d5 is played, then queen to b6, attacking the rook. And if bishop to e3, c5, and so on. But Richard Rapport didn't play d5. He played bishop to g4, queen to b6, attacking the rook. What is the best square for the rook? What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? There was a big surprise. Richard Laport didn't move his rook. He played knight to c5. What a move! What a move! Sacrificing the rook. Queen takes rook. Well, knight takes knight was considered. If knight takes on c5, then d takes on c5, queen takes rook, bishop to d7 check, king to f7, queen to g4, with a deadly attack. So we have queen takes rook, bishop takes knight check, king to d8, again if king goes to f7, queen to g4, and black king is in trouble. So we have king to d8, Queen to h5, intending queen to e8 check, mate. But now g6. Why to move? What is the best square for the queen? Please pause again and find the best move for white. What did you find? Richard Laporte didn't move his queen. He played bishop takes pawn on b5, sacrificing the queen. c6. 
If G takes on H5, then knight to E6 checkmate. So we have C6. Wow! And now both the queen and the bishop are hanging. What should I do? What would you do? Please pause again and find this beautiful move that Richard Laporte played in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? White played the move and black resigned. The move is queen to d5 check. Black resigned. If king goes to e8, then queen to d7 check, king to f7, bishop takes pawn on c4 check, king to g7, queen to e6 threatening queen to f7 checkmate, g5 making the room for the king to escape, but then queen to e5 check, king to g6, and then white plays the obvious, queen takes pawn on g5 checkmate. And if in this position black takes the queen, then white simply plays knight to e6 checkmate. Wow, what a brilliant game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.